Hey guys, Thunder E here and Computex 2017 is wrapping up, but we've got to see some new products, some really cool demos and some new devices. One of which was Windows 10 running on an 835 processor, 835 reference processor in a sense. Uh, Qualcomm showcased some of that at the show. And I have to say though, I was quite impressed. Now I didn't see it firsthand, but Sam did. He was right there uh, at Computex with Qualcomm checking it out. So I want you guys to take a nice good look at this awesome full demo of Windows 10 running on an 835 chipset. Okay, so I'm going to start where every proper Windows demo begins, which is with the start menu. I'm going to launch Excel. And I've got some data that I've been working with here. And what you should notice is that this is full Windows Excel, or Microsoft Excel here. So there are no, there's no uh, optimized version or pared down feature set. This is the full application. And so I'm going to do a little bit more than just data entry. I'm going to do some real analytics work here. So I'm going to create a pivot table. And I'm going to start pulling in some of my data fields here. At this point, it may seem a little bit boring, but that's actually OK, because I shouldn't be showing you anything here that you haven't seen before. In fact, I should be showing you exactly what you have seen before with all of the features and functionality that you're already used to in Excel being run on Windows 10 on Snapdragon. So I'm going to open up uh, PowerPoint here. I'm going to paste in my chart that I just generated and copied from Excel. And I'm going to pull up a document that I was working on in Word. We can copy text from there, bring that into my presentation. And then to just round out the experience with Office, we'll send this file over email using the share functionality. So this is pulling up Outlook. And I'll just send this off to myself. So this is using the emulation uh, functionality, right? the emulation layer. Yeah, so all of these Office applications are, are Win32 apps, and so this is, this is running through, these are x86 apps, and they're running through the emulation layer, which is significant, because you can see that the performance is all very good. I'm doing multiple windows and instances. All of my processing went through very, very quickly, and that was going through the emulation here. So that kind of covers the productivity side of things. I want to address uh, the ecosystem side of things, and what I mean by that is that on, uh, when, you're, when you're running Windows, you, you can use Office applications, and that's fine, and those are great applications that millions of people depend on. But the, the real Windows value proposition exists in the full ecosystem where developers all over the world are generating all kinds of apps for every sort of use case. And those applications written for Windows uh, you should fully expect that if you're using a Windows machine, they will run on your device. And so in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download a Win32 application from not the, the Microsoft Store. So this is just out there in the ecosystem. And you can see, go ahead and agree to install. And the download and installation happens, and now I've got another application adding another level of functionality to my Windows experience. Switching gears from the ecosystem, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, connectivity and, and other, other use cases here. Let's say I want to stream a video. Uh, I've got a gigabit LTE connection on this device, and so while I'm running through uh, a, a sort of a bottleneck by, by having a 100 megabit per second internet connection just with this demo setup, that's plenty of bandwidth to do any sort of video streaming. In this case, this is a 1080p video. And you can see that it pulls up. Oh, wait, sorry. Let me uh, switch to quality and just make sure that we're running at 1080p here. There you go. Full screen. Full screen, 1080p streaming. 
And as you would expect, I mean, we're, when we're talking about gigabit LTE, you know that there's plenty of bandwidth for any sort of streaming application. And now, just to be clear, this is the same chip you would find in your Galaxy S8, 835, right? It's basically the same chip. So it, we'll have a diff we have a different SKU um, for, for, for the different applications. Um, and uh, it's, it's essentially the same trip, chip, but there are some, some slight optimizations that will be in play when we're talking about the mobile PC platform. It will be a different SKU. Okay. But it would be, it's, it's part of the eight, uh, Snapdragon 835 platform family. Uh, so for streaming, that, that all works really well as you would expect, um, but let's say I'm about to get onto an airplane and I want to uh, still watch my video, uh, so instead of streaming it, I'm going to download it because the streaming on the plane wouldn't work very well. So in order to show the full gigabit LTE capability, I've got this, this file stored on my local network. So we're getting an end-to-end -end gigabit LTE experience like you would see once gigabit LTE is rolled out with the carriers worldwide. And I'm just going to download this file. So you can see 1.9 gigabytes of data. And I'm going to start downloading now. Keep in mind, this is megabytes per second. So our actual numbers that we're used to are much higher. So we get this high 300 megabit per second range. Uh, for sustained use, on gigabit LTE connections, we expect people to see that like 150, 200 megabit per second. But for peak download speed, this, this is not an unrealistic number. And so for my download at this, at this speed, two, megabits, two, I mean, two, gigab two gigabytes of data, and it takes about 30 seconds for me to download this clip. It should be it's finishing up. part of the X16 architecture. That's right. This is using the, the X16 modem, which is integrated in with the Snapdragon 835. All right, so you see, we've got my video. It's here. I can watch it. Uh, I showed the both videos. I showed our 1080p, but if you if you wanted to watch 4K video, uh, that that all works fine as well. This is a 4K video. You can see. Uh, could you show the um, you know the system specs on here? Yeah. So what we'll do if I go in here in CPU, you can see some of this here. So running Snapdragon 835 um, and you can see actually while we're doing the 4K video that we're not really using the CPU here and that's that's because uh, we have a we have a dedicated video engine in a, that is that its own uh, dis hardware within the SOC um, but but this is this it comes to another value proposition here of Snapdragon. So we've got the the gigabit LTE, but we've also got the big little architecture and that ARM uh, CPU architecture, which allows for extremely efficient processing. So you can see as the activity starts scaling down, we can start parking cores, and when we go into a sleep mode, we can go into what's called a a connected sleep, and uh, or connected standby. And uh, what that allows us to do is, is it's much more like standby when you have your phone in your pocket. You don't really power it down, you just put it to sleep. It stays active, you can still have voice activation running in the background. You can have your uh, data syncing in the background so that once you wake it up, you get that instant wake up, everything is updated already and, and you're ready to go. And that's the experience that we're bringing to this mobile PC side of things. Now, just I know you mentioned this before when we talked earlier, but the 1.18 gigs there, that's not accurate, right? Uh, it's just this, this, uh, 1.9 gigahertz here. Um, this, yeah, this is, it's, it's not false, but what it is is it's tied to the little cores. Okay. So by default, uh, Windows looks at core zero, so it's zero through three and then, and then four through seven. And, uh, and these are the big cores and these are the little cores. So it, it f populates this field based on the core zero. Okay. But, uh, but that's something that will be addressed before launch. It'll, it'll reference core four and that'll, and that'll give the accurate maximum uh, speed. Right. Uh, can we see uh, the, the Windows, um, the, uh, I guess, just the Windows software panel for compliance? Yeah, exactly. yeah, let's do our PC. properties. Properties, there we are. So this is running full Windows 10? Yes, yeah. I mean, you can see it's a 64-bit operating system on ARM. Yeah. Um, so that it's the Windows version that has that emulation layer built in. But it is 64-bit operating system. So, so you have um, that full, full uh, 
addressable memory can be can be quite large. We're running four gigabytes uh, uh, in this case, but uh, but yeah, it's full 64-bit Windows operating system running on Snapdragon 835. All right. Well, thanks.